skating. And no, I'm not talking about roller skating. That That's lame. Like, really lame. Y'all never see roller skates on my feet. I'm talking about skateboarding. I feel like everyone agrees that skateboarding is just cool. Everyone, including me. Back in 2020, all of a sudden, I found myself watching a bunch of skate videos on YouTube. And I was like, bro, I need to start skating. So I used my very first paycheck to buy a skateboard. And I went into it thinking it was going to be easy. But once you set foot on that thing, it's a whole different story. Dude, skating ain't no joke. Just staying on the board was a challenge for me. After seeing how hard it was, I was like, man, what did I get myself into? But I ain't give up because I ain't no quitter. And the thing costed 100 bucks, and I don't think I could have returned it. So the first trick I wanted to learn was an ollie. And if you don't know what that is, it's, uh, it's pretty much jumping with the skateboard. And once again, I went into it thinking it was going to be so easy. Like, it's just a jump, right? But when I went to watch these videos, I realized just how much more went into it. I mean, you got to remember, it's not like the board is going to stick to your shoes, right? So you got to use your feet somehow to get the board up with you when you jump. And at the time, just the concept baffled me. Like, how am I supposed to do that? You want me to grip the board with my toes or something? Like, so every day I would be in my driveway just flicking this board so much my shoes started to rip. Until one day. I did it. I did an ollie. And immediately, right after I learned that skill, my progression flatlined. There's no more improvement. I thought I was Tony Hawk. I was just feeling myself. So then I started going down some hills in my neighborhood. And I didn't even know how to stop yet. I just figured, man, whatever. I, f I figured out on the way down, bro. Left my cankle meat all on the pavement. Just all there. After a while, I kind of stopped skate. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go buy some milk. Stay right there. I'll be right back. NordVPN Chilling at the crib I was trying to watch Peppa Pig So I opened Netflix But it told me it don't exist Google did it Found out it's available in Paris Wait I'm not in Paris But I wasn't even tripping I had a plan I'ma call my homie His name is NordVPN He was at my house in second He's fast So I let him in Then he jumped into my phone I said ah! What you doing, man? No VPN went in, he changed my location. Now I'm in France, I ain't even need no transportation. Now Netflix showing my show, no hesitation. I told no VPN, bro, I need an explanation. He told me all he did was connect my phone to no VPN with one click and switch the server to a server in France because that's where my show was available in. And once he did that, I was able to watch Pepe Pick securely and quickly with no problem. NordVPN. Hey! Who are you? How bro, did you bro, get relax, into my house? Dude, relax. I get, was just trying to help get you out, out, bro. I'm finna. I was just trying to help you out. Now, just relax. Bro. You do. All right, I'm going. Bro, I'm my going. phone is in my head. I'm going. I'm going. Leave. I'm sorry. <clears throat> NordVPN is this fire app that I use whenever I want to watch something that's not available in America when I'm online. And I don't want no creepy websites to creep on me and creep on all of my information. They got over 5,500 servers in 59 countries, and all you gotta do is find whatever country you wanna connect to, it and boom, now we're in Paris. You can even save money with NordVPN. Let's say you want to buy a game and it's super expensive in your location. Don't even worry. Just use NordVPN. Connect to a different country and boom. Cheap game. NordVPN can be used on up to six devices. The whole family can get hooked up. Go to NordVPN.com slash Jawbreaker to get the two-year plan with an exclusive deal. Plus, four bonus must free. It's risk-free with NordVPN's money-back guarantee. That's NordVPN.com slash Jawbreaker. Links will be in the description and the comments. Don't wait. Stay safe and protected on the internet with NordVPN. Anyways, after a while I stopped skating, I didn't want nothing to do with that death trap. Fast forward to college and I'm at home on break and I started picking up on skating again. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm finna take this back with me because I'd be bored sometimes over there and I found out there was a skate park near my college. So once I got back, I had it all planned out. I was going to wake up early and get there in the morning so I could practice without being in the way. Because look, I wasn't oblivious to the fact that I wasn't good, okay? I wasn't trying to be in there struggling and being in the way of all the pros. Mess around and get credit card swiped by a board. So the day came and I called an Uber to the skate park. And I was so excited. I was ready to become a master at skating, bro. I was thinking about all the cool tricks I was going to teach myself. So bro. Tell me why we get there, and there's literally a thousand people at the park. Like, I'm not even lying to you. The Uber driver looked at me, she asked me, is there something going on here? And I was like, I don't know. I guess I chose the wrong day to come because there was an event going on or something. So I walked in and went to the main place people were skating at, which was the bowl. And when I went in there, these skaters were going crazy, wall riding the sides, grinding at the top. So I was like, okay, you know, no big deal. I'm just going to start by dropping into the bowl. So I set my board at the edge and got ready to drop in. I looked down and immediately changed my mind. And now I'm in the way of all these experienced skaters trying to go in. So I'm like, okay, whatever, bro. Dropping is a little too advanced for me. I'm going to just go on this little slope that was nearby. I went to that and I still couldn't manage to do it. 
And while I was standing there panicking, this little kid just walked by me and went down in no problem. So now I'm like, okay, bro, you know, this was probably a bad idea, but I can't just leave. And that $20 Uber ride can't be for nothing. But I had one last thing to resort to. There's this concrete path near the bowl that's called a pump track. And it's pretty much a little track with a bunch of mini hills on it. So I was like, okay, I can't drop in. I can't do the slope, but this is literally just a bumpy road. I can do that for sure. So I got over there and got onto the beginning of the track and nothing happened. I didn't even know what I was doing. I tried to go down and I couldn't get enough speed so the board would just stop in the middle. And there were some other skaters who were approaching and they just stopped and stared and watched me struggle for five minutes. Oh brother, this guy stinks! After seeing that I couldn't do it, I just had to accept that I wasted my time and needed to leave the premises. I can't show my face here again. I had to disappear as soon as possible. So I took the walk of shame back to the parking lot and caught an Uber back to the campus. So as I sat here waiting for my Uber, I really thought about what just happened and realized how I wasted my money and my time to come here and suck. And when I got back, best believe I acted like nothing happened. I didn't speak to anyone about anything. And I haven't skated since. I mean, every time I look at my skateboard, I get flashbacks to that day and seize. So now I just play Skate 3 and be sad about what I could have been. I don't know, skating looked cool, but I guess it ain't for me. I might pick it up in the future though, we'll see. But in the meantime, I'm keeping my feet on the ground. Anyways, that's it. Follow the Twitch because I'm there every weekend. Uh, that's it. Bye.